Hi, I'm Jerry Taft, and I first became interested in meteorology because I fly airplanes. And no matter what kind of airplane you fly, an understanding of weather patterns and systems is necessary, especially in dangerous conditions. Well, these days, small aircraft like this is more my speed. But you know, there was a time when I used to fly a lot higher and a lot faster. True story. I once was Captain Jerry Taft, United States Air Force. They used to call me the Cloverleaf Kid, although it took more than luck to fly supersonic fighter jets. And you know, I always felt my degree in meteorology gave me a little bit of an edge. My transition to television began in 1974 while I was stationed at Randolph Air Force Base near San Antonio, Texas. One night in a nearby pub, I befriended McClovio Perez, a popular local TV weatherman. Told him that I always wanted to visit and get a real cook's tour of an Air Force base, and he invited me down. So Jerry and I visited uh, Randolph Air Force Base. He showed me the aircraft. Next thing I knew, I was getting suited up in a jet pilot outfit, ready to go do a story on jet pilots that fly all over San Antonio. It was an experience that we'll long remember. We became friendly, he came to visit the station, I enjoyed visiting him at the uh, officers club. Uh, and then one day I got a job in San Diego, California, and I said, Jerry, you know, you're a pilot, you're a meteorologist, you should be doing weather on television. And he said, you think so? And I said, of course, come on down. And Jerry immediately got hired right there on the spot. I left, came back six months later, and I said, hey, whatever happened to Jerry Taft? Oh, he's a big time in Chicago. McClovio did okay, too. He wound up forecasting the weather for a local station in Los Angeles. And now, more than 20 years later, we're both still forecasting weather on television. And it's certainly satisfying to be part of a process of helping people prepare for severe weather. Get everybody inside, this is one big chum. I'm going to be blown out of the 